Since malls were closed on the 13th of March, the Fatwa Committee notes that there hasn't been any signs of improvement in the situation, but the situation has worsened. Yeah, in as much as we, we all yearn as, as the Muslim community to return to our mosques to perform congregational prayers, whether it is a daily prayers or Friday prayers, the committee was unanimous in its view that it is unsafe to reopen our mosque now. Uh, this is also confirmed by our mosque leaders and staff uh, in the mosque who feel that given the current circumstances, opening mosques for congregants to return um, carries a lot of risk. So the only responsible and right thing to do now is to do everything necessary to prevent infection, which is not to gather in large congregations. As such, the fatwa committee is of the view that there is a need for mosques to remain closed and for congregational prayers to remain suspended until there are significant improvements as advised by the Ministry of Health. Um, the committee is guided in its decision by many religious principles um, and fundamentals that apply in a situation uh, like we are in right now, where our religious priorities are A, to avoid all forms of harm, and B, to close all, the, all doors that can lead to danger and harm. And these principles should not be applied only when harm and danger have occurred, but also to prevent them from happening in the first place or from worsening. It's also very important for me to share uh, uh, with members of the media and also the community that uh, the fatwa committee comprising of our senior uh, religious scholars and leaders in Singapore is with the community in feeling uh, a deep sense of and a longing for congregation, a deep sense of loss and a longing for congregation because being together in worship is a very important part of our religious life. We are connecting a lot more through online means. Uh, we have seen how the community have responded very well to online religious uh, lectures and reminders. They have logged in and sharing their views and appreciating all those efforts. We are also uh, spending a lot more time with our families. But I think more importantly, we must keep each other in our daily thoughts and prayers. And our togetherness and sense of community must remain strong in our hearts, even as we have to keep physically distant and keep away from our mosques when they are closed. So I therefore hope that the community does not see this decision as denying them the opportunity to pray in our mosque, but instead as part of their social responsibility to help keep everyone safe. I wish to end um, with the emphasis that right now our priority is um, to keep everyone healthy and safe as we go through this challenge of the spread of COVID-19. Thank you.